Hey everyone, Amanda here. So today I got the EEG removed from my head. And as you can see, hold on, let me remove this. As you can see, this can happen because, well, you have stuff on your skin and it can cause that kind of um, irritation. Although the ones I had here, um, don't really have the same issue. It's a little red, but that's only because I had the tape on it. So it wasn't from the actual pads, it was from the tape. But uh, it hurts a little bit, but I have it on the side and like up here. Um, but the experience really wasn't that bad. Um, the bag that I had, it had straps on it like a backpack so I could just put it on and walk around and do whatever I needed to do so it wasn't like it was a huge issue um, you just have to remember you have something attached to you <laughs> and if you go too far it'll pull your head like that <laughs> that happened a couple times <laughs> um, now I had said that um, in my like normally you would push the button every time you had an episode, an event, a spell, whatever you want to call it, when something happened, um, you would push the button and then write down the information. And I said in my case, it was just more, more likely it was just going to be it recording my sleep. That was really the issue. And if anything happened, then I could push the button. I only pushed it one time. And what happened was on Saturday, <laughs> um, I slept pretty much all day, but it was three separate times that I slept. So I woke up in the morning at like seven and I was, excuse me, and I was extremely tired. So I went back to sleep and then I woke up around 11, 12. Um, I was up for maybe a half hour and I was just so tired. I fell back asleep again and that um, third time that I woke up, what happened is I had a nightmare. Now, I remember my nightmares. I do not remember having night terrors. Um, so this was a nightmare, and I was trying to get away from someone or something. And when I woke up, I was half off of the bed. So my legs were, like, on the floor, and I was just kind of leaning back on the bed. And um, I was calling for help, but here's the thing. I didn't realize I was actually awake. I thought I was still dreaming. <laughs> so it took me a few minutes to actually realize I was awake. So um, that's the only time that I pressed it. And basically that's what happened. I was having a nightmare. I thought I was still dreaming. I was yelling for help, but really I was awake. Um, so, and I know that I was awake because my mother came in and she was talking to me and I thought she was part of the dream, <laughs> but um, no, she, I was awake. Um, it was, it was weird. I don't know what you would call that, a waking dream? I don't know. I don't know what you would call that. Um, I'm, I don't think I've ever experienced that before. Um, and nothing really interesting happened on Sunday either, um, or this morning. It was just after I had that third, I guess, nap, I don't know. I was just so tired, I couldn't keep my eyes open. You know when you're so tired, your eyes are so heavy that it forces you to close your eyes like you try, but you just can't. That's how tired I was. And, you know, if I'm not getting REM sleep, I mean, it's just making things a bit worse then because I'm not getting restorative sleep in, in any way, and I'm always, always tired. Like, exhausted tired. <clears throat> like, for instance... Um, I had to go in this morning for 9.30 to have it taken off, and when I got back, I was so tired. 
I slept all day. I got, I woke up around, let's see, I got back here at about 10.30, 12, 1, 2, about between 3 and 4, I want to say, I, yeah, yes, it was about 4.30, I remember now. So I slept from around between 10.30 and 11 is when I fell asleep and I woke up again at around 4.30. So, I am so freaking tired, and I keep sleeping, and it's not doing anything. So, hopefully, this scan caught something. And that's the thing. It doesn't always catch something. <laughs> it's strange, you know? It, it depends on what your brain decides to do and if it pick, the machine picks it up or not. So, I mean, you can have multiple um, EEGs done, you know, to help figure out what's going on um, so yeah but other than that other than being really tired and having that one nightmare it really wasn't a big deal um, I mean this doesn't look that great but <laughs> you know it is what it is you know it's it, it's what happens when you put electrodes on your head and they sit there for 72 hours because they have to put something there and then they stick the electrodes to it. And I think whatever it is that they use, the paste that they use, um, I think that is what causes the irritation on the skin. So, yes, irritation on the skin is most likely going to happen. If it doesn't happen to you, that is awesome. <laughs> but most likely it will. So, yeah, that was my experience. So, um, they said... If we don't call within a week, give us a call to find out the results and what to do next. So that is where I am on the EEG front. So, all right. Thank you for watching. Uh, I love you all. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.